Let's talk about the present perfect verb tense. In the past tense, we talk about actions that are finished and the opportunity to perform those actions is also finished. For example, I brushed my teeth last night. I brushed my teeth, past tense. Last night, in the past, there is no more opportunity to brush my teeth in that time period because last night is finished. Today is a new day. What if I say, I have brushed my teeth this morning? Here we're using the present perfect. In this example, the action is finished, but the opportunity is not finished if it is still this morning. Understand? I could say, I have not brushed my teeth yet this morning. That is because it is still this morning and there is still an opportunity to brush my teeth. So the present perfect can be used in several different ways. We talk about situations that began in the past and continue up until the present moment. Or possibly actions that began in the past and have just finished. Or we can talk about repeated actions in the past that continue up until the present moment. These are all ways to use the present perfect. So the present perfect, we have the subject plus have or has plus the past participle. For example, I have lived in Los Angeles for three years. I have lived in Los Angeles since 2012. Very often we use for and since with the present perfect, but not always. Also, we often use yet Already, still, ever, and never. It depends on the situation. Let's practice using the present perfect with yet and already. For example, have you finished your dinner yet? Yes, I have already finished my dinner. Yes, I have already finished dinner. Have you finished your dinner yet? No, I have not finished my dinner yet. No, I haven't finished my dinner yet. Have and have not can be contracted into haven't. Have not, haven't. Have you eaten breakfast yet? Yes, I have already eaten breakfast. No, I have not eaten breakfast yet. Or, no, I have not yet eaten breakfast. Both are correct. Let's practice the present perfect using yet and already. Question. Have you eaten breakfast yet? Okay, listen, yes or no question, the intonation goes up. Have you eaten breakfast yet? 
Yes. I have already eaten breakfast. Or no, I have not eaten breakfast yet. Also, you could move the yet. No, I have not yet eaten breakfast. Both positions of yet are correct. So we use yet in the question. Have you eaten breakfast yet? Have you finished the laundry yet? Yet is also used in the negative answer. Already is used in the positive answer. Let's talk about using ever and never with the present perfect. Let me ask you a question. How long have you eaten sushi? I have eaten sushi for 10 years. I have never eaten sushi. Okay, so if the answer is totally negative, you have never in your life eaten sushi, that is the correct response. How long have you studied Japanese? I have never studied Japanese. Understand? Okay, now let's use ever in the question, and we will respond with ever or never. So this is just a little bit different. For example, have you ever traveled to Spain? No, I have never traveled to Spain. So when I ask ever, I mean in your life, at any time in your life. The opportunity is still here. Have you ever traveled to Mexico? Yes, I have traveled to Mexico. In this case, we're using the present perfect, but it's not specific. The time in which I visited Mexico is not specific. You only know that I did travel to Mexico sometime in the past sometime in my life. But what if the answer is no? Have you ever traveled to Mexico? No, I have never traveled to Mexico. Have you ever been to Mexico? No, I have never been to Mexico. Have you ever been to Australia? Yes, I have been to Australia. No, I have never been to Australia. Okay, let's look at the board. Have you ever been to Chile? Have you ever traveled to Chile? Okay, so here it says past participle, okay? So remember, we have to use the past participle. So, ever is used in the question. Ever, ever in your life, at any time in your life. Have you ever eaten popcorn? Yes, I have eaten popcorn. Notice, if the answer is positive or affirmative, if I say yes in the question, I don't use ever or never. Ever is only used in the question, 
and never is used in the negative response. You could also use ever in the negative response, but you have to use the word not. You could say, for example, No, I have never, or no, I have not ever. We don't use double negatives in English. So I can say, I have never, or I have not ever. No double negatives in English. Have you ever swum in the ocean? Yes, I have swum in the ocean. No, I have never swum in the ocean. No, I have not ever swum in the ocean. Very good. Now, ask me a question. Yes, I have eaten pizza. So, that was a good lesson with the present perfect. Remember, the present perfect can be used in different ways. But, we always use have or has plus the past participle. I'm Teacher Tom, thank you very much.